This is the onboard computer or the LMI load moment indicator or SLI some manufacturers call it for safe load indicator. Uh, this is on a link belt 80 ton crane. It's a rough terrain crane. This is a computer that most of the link belt cranes have in them. Basically the same thing. This gives you all your pertinent information uh, such as your uh, outrigger configuration which this is all the way extended counterweight configuration uh, this one has <coughs> uh, two slabs uh, I have both of them on there which is 19.2 you could have uh, each one of them is 9600 you could have none or 9600 or 9200 uh, this is the boom mode uh, This crane has standard and what they call a max uh, standard Just extends each section out evenly and The other one leaves these two end sections in and only extends <clears throat> Only extends this first section uh, This is uh, for the attachment Right now I've got a 38 foot jib on there or boom extension and it's a two part extension. I have the, the base part on and the tip part I have stowed on the side of the boom. And this tells you how many parts of line you got. I just have a headache ball on there so I just have one part. Uh, this tells you your slewing angle compared to over the front, which is zero. So right now I'm at 63, kind of hanging over the side. This is a wind indicator. If I had an anemometer on there, it would tell me the wind speed, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know where it is, didn't come with one. Yeah. <clears throat> this tells you your boom angle. Uh, straight down, flat being zero and straight up being 90 so 72 right now this is your radius which is the measurement from the center of the crane to the center of the load uh, this is your boom tip height here and this is the load that's what's actually hanging off the tip of the boom right now 700 pounds which is nothing is just the ball the hook and this is the max I can lift at this particular uh, radius with this setup and this here just tells you how much boom I got out which is all of it which is 120 basically 127 and this is all real-time information so this all changes as you move around and move the crane uh, these here this is how you get into your setups uh, crane configuration this is how you set the configuration up your uh, outrigger situation you could have full intermediate retracted tires etc your counterweights you can set up there's three different setups uh, I have all the counterweights on there now, or you could just have one slab. I have two slabs on there, you could just have one, or you could have none. And your boom extend mode, there's only two modes on this particular crane, and it won't let me get into the other one until I retract it all the way. here and then we got the auxiliary head and stuff which is on there but I'm not using it and your attachments information what you've got erected and stowed I have the 38 foot on there 
with the zero, with the two degree, which is no offset. You could have uh, three different offsets in it, and uh, I currently don't have an offset in it. And this is what's stowed on the side of the boom. It's just the tip section. And your winch configuration, whether you're using the front or the back. Uh, I think I'm using the back, but you can set them up there. <clears throat> you can also set up the winch here by picking the if you're if you're on picking off of the jib or the attachment or just the main boom and pick how many parts of line you got and if you got both winches going with two with a block and a ball on there you could switch between them with this so and then here these light up as you get more of a load on there and it, they get yellow up here when you're getting close to your limit and then red and it'll beep and cut you out so, but that's basically it that's the link belt LMI this is in just about every link belt crane I've ever been in even the truck cranes and the, the hydro crawlers and all the pickers uh, they all have the same thing which makes it easy but uh, that's it. I gotta go. Adios.